Joining us now, National Border Patrol Council Vice President Artel Cueto. Okay, so that official says that, but then we have the president and vice president not yet going to the border, showing that critics say they're being tone deaf and out of touch. The vice president laughing it off multiple times when she's been put in the border, in charge of the border since the beginning of the year. So what's going on here with HHS saying that, but then you have that reaction out of the White House? Look, the, the individual that's uh, talking about it is absolutely correct. Uh, I don't know what's going on at the White House. I wish I had the answer, uh, but simply put, it looks like they just do not care. Uh, I will add to those numbers, we have a huge amount of gotaways that I've been stressing on as much as possible. And when it comes to gotaways, those are numbers that we don't know what the actual number is, but uh, historically it's been more. Right now, year to date, you're looking at 226,000 gotaways. So if you start adding all those numbers, uh, we're past trying to figure out if we're going to call it a crisis. Uh, it's chaos mode. And it appears that the leadership at the White House uh, not only doesn't care, but they might not even have a clue. Yeah, where did we know what the number of gotaways is? I've seen numbers all over the map on that. It's in the tens of thousands. The media finally covering the border harder than they've ever covered it before. The number of migrants who die trying to make it to the border has tripled since October. Thousands die every year trying to make the 2,300-mile trek. That's the problem. Border crossings at more than 180,000 in May, that's eight times what it was in May of 2020. I mean, they're responding to about one fatality a week in the Rio Grande sector. So, you know, so that's the thing. I mean, it, so finally the media seems like they're waking up. Liz, they haven't even hit the peak points. The summer months are coming up, and I can tell you that down in Arizona, these summer months have been notorious with the amount of 911 calls. And so what a lot of these calls do, and, and the smugglers know it, the cartel, they know exactly what they're doing. They, they flood certain areas uh, with unaccompanied juveniles, removing agents from those positions so they can bring the drugs across. Now that the summer months are coming because they know the heat is tremendous, they'll send individuals to, you know, pretty much zones where they know they might not make it. They're forced to call 911. Yeah. So now agents are being moved to that area. And at the same time, once yeah. again, the drug cartels take advantage by bringing in drugs into the U.S. Our, we, the evening at it, we've been covering this for about five years. You and I have yes, been talking have. about this for years, that this is what the, excuse me, the Mexican drug cartels and the human smugglers are doing. They are purposely flooding the zone with unaccompanied children to pull Border Patrol away and distract them so they can flood the zone with drugs. Let's watch FBI Director Christopher Wray testifying today. He's saying that it's an epidemic of drugs. And yes, Mexican cartel crime is now swarming across the border. Watch this. I absolutely agree that the security situation at the southwest border is of great concern, um, both from a perspective of drug trafficking, human trafficking, uh, violence on both sides of the border, corruption, uh, et cetera. But make no mistake, this goes beyond, way beyond law enforcement into other agencies and, and uh, frankly, the community as well. But there's no question that the cartel activity on the other side of the border uh, is spilling over in all sorts of ways, and you just put your finger directly on one that is extremely concerning to us all. You know what? I feel like I'm in a bell jar with like padding around. You know that. Wh where is? When are they going to answer the wake-up call that's been ringing off the hook in the Biden administration and do something about this? Because literally, people are getting killed. This again. We, this is a humanitarian issue. You and I have talked about this. We don't want another person killed or assaulted on the way to the border. We don't want another criminal gang exploiting the border. How bad is it? Well, this administration right now is solely responsible for every single death that comes through that border. They're responsible for filling the cartel's pockets with money. They're doing nothing about it. The, the border is getting flooded with illegal aliens coming through, with unaccompanied juveniles, with drug smugglers, with sex trafficking. And this administration is absolutely doing nothing about it but encouraging this lawlessness. All right, Arto Quater, thanks for joining us.